Hello everyone, this is John from the Brutecast and welcome back to the channel. Before I start this video, I'd just like to apologise if my voice sounds a little bit funny. I am testing out new sound settings, uh, which will hopefully um, make my voice to game ratio audio a lot better. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing the first episode from my new series, How to Space Engineers. And today I'm just going to be showing... Um, the very basics of the game, you know, the basic controls and the basic gameplay. Um, this tutorial is made assuming that you've just got the game, you don't know how to play, um, and you know you just spawned into one of the existing worlds. You've got a station and everything already set up for you, and you just want to know how to play the game for the first few hours um, and just have some fun. So, uh, first things first, um, I will go through. Just the basic controls that you will need to start playing. So you can press tab to turn the HUD on and off, like I just did. You can press V to change the third person view. Uh, when you're in third person view, you can hold down Alt and use your mouse to change your view around, and you can use the mouse wheel to change the zoom. Um, Alright, so actual movement is pretty simple. It's basically just a universal movement control. So W is forward, S is back. A is left and D is right. You then have spacebar to jump. Um, and you use your mouse to obviously move around and steer your character. So it's quite simple really. Um, so the next things you're going to need to know is your um, helmet. So actually at the top of right hand side um, of your HUD, you've got the first icon which is a helmet with J. The second icon which is a jetpack which is X. Signal which is O. And flashlight which is L. So basically that's the symbols is what they are and the letters above them is which letter does it. So if you're in space you're going to need oxygen to breathe so you want your helmet on. If you're on a planet uh, Earth like I am you're going to want your helmet off so you can breathe oxygen. So anyway you just press J and it turns your helmet on and off and you can see that the icon down there is changing. You can then also press L to turn your helmet lights on and off. Um, well, we won't worry about signals because it's pretty much a useless feature. Um, so the next thing is your jetpack. Excuse that, it's my little brother. Um, so the next thing is jetpack. So you can see you have your health, your oxygen, energy and hydrogen. And hydrogen is what your jetpack uses to run. So you press X to turn your jetpack on and as you can see it is now on. Uh, so W, A, S, D still work the same, the mouse still works the same. But now when you press space you go up, when you press C you go down, and you can use Q and E to rotate your angles. Um, as you can see now, my hydrogen has gone down a little bit, so if I go over to the med bay, over here, um, you can refill it, like that. Now to access any terminal in the game, it doesn't matter if it's this blue one, it doesn't matter if it's this yellow one, or it doesn't matter if it's this one here, you can either left click, or press F to access it and it will do the same thing. See, just like that. Um, however, if you have something in your hands like this, then left click won't work because it will try to use the item, so you'll have to use F. Um, but basically, when in doubt, just press F and it'll work. Um, now, if you press the letter K, um, you can access your inventory, so that's what's on you control panel, so if I go over here and press K, see so control panel as you access everything that's here. Um, production is where you build everything. Info, factions, comms, we don't worry about those yet. Um, now I will just quickly mention that the medical bay will only recharge your oxygen and hydrogen if you have it set up to the conveyor system. Um, we won't worry about that right now, um, but just keep that in mind. If it's not filling out, it's because this isn't connected properly. Um, but assuming again that you are using one of the pre-built stations that should already be set up for you. So the other thing that I need to show you guys with flight is your inertia dampener. So basically the inertia dampener stops your movement. So for example if I move around now, so say I just hold down W, now I let it go, you can see that I automatically stop myself. That's because my dampeners are on. And you can see um, down next to the speedometer on your HUD on the right hand side, it says dampeners on with like a warning symbol. That's how you can tell if it's on or off. So if I was to turn my dampeners off with Z, 
you can see that the gravity just pulls me down to the ground because there's nothing to stop me from moving and if I start moving forward and then turn it off I'll just keep going so that's what dampeners does now I'll just quickly go and fill up hydrogen again oh wrong one Alright, so that's pretty much all the basic controls that you really need to know to be able to start playing the game. The only other thing is the G menu. So you press G and it opens up this menu. This brings up everything that you can build as well as all the tools and stuff that you can use. Note that if the tools are greyed out, it means you can't use them because it's not in your uh, inventory. But basically it works the same as Minecraft. Um, you know, you just drag what you want, put it on your hotbar, and then you can select it by pressing that corresponding number. Note that in Space Engineers we have two different grid sizes. We have large grid for stations and whatnot, and we have small grid for small ships like these three here. To switch between them, all you have to do is press the number on your hotbar again and it'll do it, or touch that grid and it'll automatically do it itself. Um, you can also right click on an item to remove it. Um, so, let me just quickly grab my tools out. So the two main tools that you will use in this game is the welder and the grinder. The welder obviously builds things and the grinder obviously destroys them. Um, but to do that you need to have components. So see if I put my welder over here, it gives me a list of components that I need to complete this and also a completion level. Um, so I need to have the components in my inventory to be able to build this item. So to do that, it's pretty simple. You go mining, you put your ore in a refinery here, it refines it, which then goes into the assembler, and then you can make the components inside the assembler. I won't go into mining or anything this video because I can do that next time. It is a very simple process. Um, but for now, I'll just do basic um, components making. So first of all, we need to get some steel plates. Um, so obviously, different blocks will require different things, but to see this armor block, require steel plates so I'll grab some from my inventory here. You will now notice that the border around this block is green instead of red and that means I can place it down just like that. Now this will create a frame as you can see here and if I move up to it I can start welding it and this is now a completed block. If I want to remove this block I can use my grinder and remove it just like that. Um, now let's say for example you run out of resources how would you get um, the components you need to build this if you don't have any left. Well, you have to make some. So what you would do in that case is you would access a panel, you'll click on production, and then queue up the resources that you want. So you can press it once and it'll make one. You can hold down control and press it and make ten. Hold down shift and it'll make a hundred. And hold down control and shift and it'll make a thousand. So that's how that works. Um, also, the same controls apply for moving objects into your inventory. Um, just kind of a handy thing to know. Um, so that's basically how you get the components, how you build your blocks, and uh, how you you know produce more components if you need it. Um, so note that you can build singular components here. You can build tools here. Um, you can build small grid blocks and large grid blocks. So basically if I wanted to do this, it would just automatically queue up everything that I need to build there. Um, so basically that's all you really need to know to start playing the game, uh, to start building things and basically just to survive your first few hours. It's only the very basic, most simple controls and gameplay. Um, I wanted to make the video, the first video of that for a reason, um, but in the next few videos I will go more in depth of how you play the game correctly. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is how to fly a ship, so I need to open my hangar door first. Um, so basically the ship controls are pretty much universal with your player controls, so they are pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is um, you have two extra buttons. You have P which locks and unlocks landing gear. This ship doesn't have any landing gear, so I don't need to worry about it. But it also does the same thing for connectors, but I'm not docked with a connector station either, so I don't need to worry about that. The other button is Y. Y turns your ship power on and off. Uh, sometimes you have to press it twice because the game's a little bit weird like that, but there we go. I now have power on the ship. Other than that, the controls are pretty much exactly the same as the jetpack. Um, 
Um, also, you can see this ship has welders. If I press number one, I can turn them on and off. To set that up, it's the same thing as your tools pretty much. You just go weapons and tools and drag them down. Um, so, yeah, that is literally, um, you know, the basics. Um, all you need to know to start playing the game. Um, the other thing is, when you go to turn your ship off, make sure that you're close to the ground, otherwise gravity will just pull it down and smash it to pieces. Um, in space, though, you don't need to worry about that, because there is no gravity, so your ship will just stay exactly where you left it. Um, so, yeah, that is basics on uh, the controls for the game, how to build things in the game, and how to fly ships. Um, so, in the next episode, I'll go into more detail about other controls and features and whatnot in the game. I think next episode I'll explain mining, um, conveyor and oxygen systems, um, and maybe something else. Depends on how long the video will be. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like if you did. And if it helped you out, um, let me know in the comments. I'd be quite interested to see. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.